the, so the, the basically no, the, you just put one. Excellent. And you basically just been told you know, why they're away. Just you know, something's wrong okay. with them. I'm taking care of it. And so these are not verbal communications, that those are the, the sensations or situational cues that it's giving you. So at least you you know that your beast is, is on track here. Can I send something back to the beast, not to Ashatra? Just to yeah, sure. I'm just gonna say, like, things might go wrong for me as well if I'm not back until tomorrow to leave this place. Okay, this good place. enough. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, that, I, I get that. Okay, so uh, the, the the two of you will. After perhaps a little bit of protest of being pinned yeah. down by a paw or two, it's got how many legs? And um, and then after after basically being you know disciplined by the pack leader mm -hmm. enough, um, the, the the two of you are, are kind of going to be well. That was that didn't oh, work. <laughs> <laughs> that was different. And Athashra is quite concerned. Yeah, she needs to have her artifact and she needs to be at the arena. Yeah, so this is really important. So they are hastening on their way. Mm -hmm. We are beginning with uh, the two of you arriving at the arena, and it's very unconstructed at the very top level. This huge, mostly circular hole in the ground with probably, I'm imagining some structures unevenly ringing it, you know, places where you could buy, I don't know, fried prawns and beer or something like that. Um, yeah, well, no, they know better. <laughs> Other people know better than those. <laughs> and the, um, the the problem is that, or rather, there isn't a problem. It's actually free to go into those upper, those couple upper levels of the arena viewing. Anybody can just go in and watch. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crap. People are, you know, looking over the edge and elbowing each other, you know, and so it's not easy viewing, um, but, uh, you know, and, and it's distracting. People are making bets, and um, there aren't any Templars at that level. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Okay. <laughs> so when you, but if you go down um, through these fairly easy access staircases, um, and uh, they keep they keep it up pretty well, so there's repairs on it every mm -hmm. few months. So that means that you're not you know hanging off of unstable mm -hmm. architecture mm -hmm. as you as you go down. Um, still, you're going to come to a section which is more organized, but that also means you know better police. There are Templars. Um, and if they don't like your looks, they might prevent you from coming in or give you a hard time. Um, or um, areas that seem to be blocked off by an organized group. You know, this is our, these are our seats. We're the thing for some semi or non-formal civic whether it's a political party or a cult or something like that, they've sort of socially blocked off those seats as being theirs. So that's what's, once you're a couple of levels down, that's what you're going to be encountering. Any further down, and the Templars are making sure that everything is peaceable, and you would have to be showing passes and proving connections and stuff like that. Um, that's sort of the lower half of the cone not counting the, the really organized um, VIP area, mm -hmm. which actually they don't come down through the arena. They go laterally through subterranean mm -hmm. means that you guys don't know about. So uh, so that's you that's what I see as the, the situation. Um, the uh, and actually you know the more I think about it, those first couple of levels, while certainly heavy weapons are not even allowed in general, lighter weapons, they're not going, they don't care about that. If any, you know, if low rent 
arena viewers want to cut each other's throat up there in that those, yeah. that top level or two, nobody cares. Yeah. I would have given, before we came to the arena, I would have given one of the vials to the uh -huh. for sure. Well, thank you. Okay. okay. In case we get separated. True. Um, True. Okay, so uh, there is a mighty roar um, that uh, what a favored gladiator, you know, has, has sliced up their opponent. Um, actually, okay, let me take it back. Let's cut down to the floor of the arena for our establishing, you know, fi arena fighting. Two colorfully helmeted uh, gladiators uh, are fighting um, each with, uh, and it seems kind of organized, one has an obsidian headed spear, one has uh, two obsidian swords. Um, they're both skilled and they are a little more athletic or acrobatic than is strictly necessary because it's a you know it's, it's, it's showy um and you know kicking off the walls and stuff like yeah. that uh, sometimes and uh but they are fighting in earnest but it's not it turns out to be non-lethal one of them simply loses too much blood to continue and yields um and, and the crowd you know cheers they're both they're both known right so this one won and that's a big deal but it wasn't all about killing somebody. Mm -hmm. um, so this is so you're kind of watching the the celeb sports sections, but uh, but it's clear from where you are that you know a non-lethal, dramatic but non-lethal bout. You know, okay, after that we need a fatality, mm -hmm. and that means you're going out there. Yeah. I assume so. Uh huh. Um, and uh, you're you're thrust out uh, through this door. You're basically thrown out, and you're actually looking up and seeing this cone above you, um, and uh, a person in this box, you know, is is saying, you know, captured in the wild where they preyed upon the <laughs> preyed upon the caravans. I mean, um, it's not so cast out. I mean. An, you know, a famed outlaw from his people. I mean, it's not uh, they, completely yeah, untrue. <laughs> um, basically, they, they build you up as mm -hmm. you know some sort of awful menace of a rogue Brighteen. Do know. they give him a stage name? Um, no, no, because he, he doesn't deserve a name. No, I, have, I have done nothing yet. Right. I am below and the uh, and, and so, uh, but you know, a, a dangerous foe, you know, a dangerous, uh, a dangerous creature. Um, and so, you know, it, 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 who better, who better than, uh, Shahrukh to, you know, dispose of this menace. Oh, um, <laughs> and so, uh, and so through this door of course. comes yeah, out yeah. Shahrukh, yeah. you know, brandishing. Yeah. Right. Especially when he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the right. I know. Yeah. So, exactly. Classic. Uh, comes out and, and displays to the crowd, you know, with his with his, his characteristic uh, flourish. Um, and there's only one uh, problem when he stares at you. You can see that his pupils are horribly dilated, and that he so is something is wrong. Yeah, and that a lot of his veins are bunched up, invisible. And curiously white, bulging white. Yeah, we're yeah. looking at what yeah. we are to expect. Well, it's broken, that's not visible from very far away. Not white, but you do recognize. I mean, you can the the acoustics from below are awesome. Excellent. So the somehow somebody built this thing very intelligently, yeah. and so you can hear far more of these announcements than you would have expected. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so you know he's named. Here it is. Here's he Shahrukh. used his real name. Uh huh. So, <laughs> so how complete do you want him to be? <laughs> how the leaves carry Here's the real problem. I don't think he, that's the problem. He might actually have been curious about his yeah. sister and everything, but now he's gorked out. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, I had to fight for my life. Yeah. So yeah. you're getting the. Thinking of getting these things is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, hmm, wait a minute. <laughs> right? 
So, uh... Knock him out. Yeah? I don't think the show is going to be... You can! I hope All I can so say right. is, you know, if you succeed, then there's... So, uh, you, you, of course, are doing the whole, you know, jaw drop. Oh, found my brother. <laughs> And at the same time. Uh-huh. Oh look, there they are. Um and you two are on your way. You mm -hmm. can delay, yeah. sadly. Yeah. Right. Christian, uh Ru is looking a little bit puzzled. Mm. Um, I am I'm looking very conflicted right now and thinking like I have my like we have we have traveled with the caravan for a while. You can definitely see a thinking face. Yeah. <laughs> like, something's wrong for sure. Mm. I mean, can we? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we right now? Are we at the top? The, the yeah. top one or two levels, if in, in case you wanted to go to the second level now. We wanted to go as low as possible. possible. You wanted to go as low as possible. So if yeah. you want to keep, it, it, but it's right at this point, about that point, where the security gets a little bit more real, that's when you know this. So I'm going okay. to put you, no, nobody's blocking you. Yeah, yeah. We could. But you're not quite to that third level down yet. But you could be. What do you, how many meters fall if we decide to fall? I mean, I have this would be a killing. This would be a killing. Yeah, so for sure. Be, yeah. You could like find a guard that's alone, kill him, and take his disguise. <laughs> no. Take his uniform and then just okay. Yeah. That's gonna. The guards like, yeah. here are Templars. Yeah. 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 We yeah. don't want to. They're low level Templars, but they're quite confident. Like the yeah. moment this is this is the level where it's like. We're gonna be having much more trouble killing the Templars than actually getting down there by annoying one or something. But, yeah. yeah, okay. Um, is it possible? So, remember in the canyon, I made a, an animal screech that alerted the other elves or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. Can I do something like that? Ah, uh, you and your can I, can I? Yeah. Tell me what you do. I want to make. I want to make a signal that we have, that we use in our tribe, yeah. to signal my brother that I'm here, mm -hmm. and see if he will react. And you could certainly use your brother as a trait for that purpose. I don't have points on that. Huh? I don't have points on my brother. Thankfully, I don't have points on my brother because he's the enemy right now, but... Um, that would be good. <laughs> we got plus against the brother. <laughs> yeah, remember that, that that if you were, the plus is always in your favor, yeah, yeah. whatever it is. So even if you have an enemy on your sheet, then you know more about that enemy. And that right, you are it. you are more pumped against yeah. that enemy. Yeah. That it, it, yeah. it, it would be weaker in this case. No, well, well the, the thing is, the thing is that I have, I, I actually, my last sentence that I wrote was like, both siblings were trained, blah, 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 blah. But Sherwood was better. So that's the question there. If I put plus one there, does it mean that he's better than me and that's better for no. you as well? <laughs> no, no. I think you're overthinking this. Okay. But if you are in any kind of conflict that involves him, this is theoretical mm -hmm. because you don't have a bonus. Mm -hmm. If you did have a bonus on him, if you are in any kind of conflict, either against him or in any way trying to communicate with him or anything like that. The bonus applies in your favor. I will so say you want your enemy to have lots of bonuses. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this because you mean, get that against it. Exactly. Yeah. The previous time that I used signal like that, I said like it's something that's like used, you know, for hunters and so totally, on. I totally would say spirit. my yeah. trait in hunter. Um that that or you have elf as a trait. I don't have a bonus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a hunting call. Yeah, that's characteristic of your tribe. I can see yeah. that. Yeah, that's pushing it a little bit. I don't see why not. I am not great. communicating anything right, right. else yeah. except yeah. that you're there. Yes, right. it might be I get that. Bird to try to yeah. Or yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And Let's probably see. there are enough like ah, people um, around that it doesn't. Have a, so don't funny. kill this one. <laughs> no, I, I kind of like the idea that uh, that who knows. I mean, I don't want to pre-narrate, but. It does seem kind of funny that other people would say, oh, that's a cool noise. <laughs> <laughs> How many dice? 
Oh, two seems like a, a solid. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I would. I basically, I would say that your cry is picked up by the crowd around you, but they, of course, you know, distort it yeah. so that now it's just it a big cheer. Yeah, they mess yeah. all that. Yeah. Right. So. Or um, he, he doesn't care. Trixie uh, or Christian, do you want Trixie to try to get lower down without incident? You know, fairly easily to get down there. That sounds good. Okay. Right. Um, do you have any idea of how you want to do it? Like just being stealthy, maybe you could do it. Yeah, I think I think uh, Trixie will uh, just try to be stealthy. I think. What sort of trait do we have for that? I think I suppose I have that as a trait, <laughs> but I think I don't think I have uh, anything related. Something that's about your your street smarts ability to avoid authorities, because I do think you have stuff on there that it, it could be interpreted as avoiding attention. Okay. Uh, thief, I think. A thief, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there you go. So, so two dice plus you have a plus one on thief. I think you do. Yeah. Okay. So that's three, and you have no fool. So let's see how you do. No. no. Okay. Ah. Right. Um, yeah. The, the in this case, um, uh, I'm just trying to think about how much of a kind of a problem that is. Um, this would mean that uh, you you head down, you know, sort of to the next level, um, and somebody uh, you know demands to see your your card, by which they mean like a wooden, a little thin wooden thing that. Can I do a roll on that? Because uh, he has he might he I wasn't have, here when you were ex explaining that, the, about this, this thing. Oh right, right. I don't even have a plus one. Either. What is it though? She now have craft weapons and corresponding ammo, so she could easily craft a. Uh, but she she doesn't even have a plus one. Yeah. No, but but I, I'm sorry. What I wanted to say is when you were ex explaining about that, I don't think that he uh, he was back. He, Trixie might have tried to steal one of those. Oh, that's actually a better idea. That's actually a better idea. Let's try that again. She's let's, stealing let's, everything. Yeah, yeah. Usually. Yeah, that's true. Um, do you have a plus on that? Of course. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try that. I mean, I would say right now the trouble is, though, that the, that failed roll, let me make sense of this. Mm -hmm. Failed rolls are not just speed bumps, That's right? You're in trouble. Mm -hmm. That means that whoever you talked to who said, you know, where's your, where's your identification? Um, you know, are you authorized, you know, to come through here? Um, and it's really kind of some jerk. It's more of a group of people who consider this their turf. Um, but the trouble is they didn't like the way that you responded and they are trying to get a Templar's attention. Mm -hmm. That's the that's yeah. the thing. Is that mm -hmm. so that's your we're trying to say I'll nab this. I need one of those? Okay. I have one, right? Is that yeah, the idea? Yeah. yeah, I think that's actually a genius idea. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to quite play your character for you, but I have to admit we all have a pretty good idea of Tracy. <laughs> 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 that, that's why I, yeah. I thought yeah. the fact that he wasn't here when you were explaining about it. Oh, and stuff like right, that. Right, right, okay, fair. 